So what made you decide to do like the whole album together rather than just like one track? But the first tune was like, bow, 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 bow. So I was like, we need to make an album. <laughs> yeah, man. So obviously that's the f that take you hear on the track is the first take. Literally the first time I ever heard him rap. Ever. That and you hear me hit the space bar at the end of the tune and go, gee! I was born in 93 and then I died, my heart stopped or whatever, and then they brought me back to life. And my mum was like unconscious and stuff, and then my dad tried to call me chaos basically, because he, he just was trying to be all weird and like, oh, we were going to call emotion, but chaos theory, like, ah, oh, throwing a little, like, I don't know, he was on a weird one. And he tried to call me chaos when I was a kid, because I didn't really like the name Ocean that much when I was younger, and I wanted to be called chaos, I thought, I thought it was a much cooler name. Chaos or Phoenix for some reason, and then I and then I got to about twelve and I was like, no, nah, both those names are fucking weird. Like, I'm, I'm glad I'm called Ocean. Straight out of Brighton, a crazy motherfucking name Wizzy. Sirens in the city, like I'm rolling around with Dizzy. You was in the basement with a plex, I'm getting picky. I was in the basement with a couple of apes, I'm getting sticky. I'm joined in the studio by a very special guest today, flown in by one of Richard Branson's private helicopters. <laughs> From <laughs> from the very sunny coasts of Brighton town, man like Ocean Wisdom. Bad, you alright? I'm good, you know, family. I, as I was telling mine, I'm like humble that you come through. We've been supporting you for a, a hot little minute now. Yeah, I oh, appreciate it. Yeah. So, just for the listeners, how long have you been, say, spitting? What was your first relationship with the microphone? Was it a TV show? Did someone give you a Fisher Price toy? Um, I used to listen to Eminem when I was like proper young. Uh, that was like the one of the few ones that I got away with listening that was still a bit controversial, you know what I mean? So we're talking like, late 90s now, right? Yeah, yeah. My mum kind of turned a blind eye to Eminem for some reason. She was a fan of him. Okay. So she let me listen to him. Uh, wow. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and, then, and then like the early Dizzy stuff as well, you know what I mean? Okay. Obviously. So you were schooled on Byron? On lyrics yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I always used to be impressed by people that could do stuff that I kind of would be like, wow, how do you actually do that? Rather than... You know, oh, that was that was clever or something. I feel like, wow, how did he actually do that flow? It would be a shame for him to come to the legendary HHQ, especially in a big promo show, and not show um, his skills. Uh, I've begged his management, um, <laughs> but via payola, <laughs> 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 to see if we can get Ocean to spit a little something, and um, he's agreed. <laughs> I don't rewind that cause that's trash Listen, basically I woo And again basically I poo And again basically I spit Bars to my face, tickly and woo Grave diggity guys try But grave diggity guys fool Grave slip if you guys fat Don't fuck with the bass, little brother not cool Yeah I'll be amazing emotional ocean I roll with the boat with the choke and the moan And I open the nose with the boat with the explosion I open the boat till the ocean is frozen Yeah I'll be the greatest and nobody's coping Plus I'll be the greatest and nobody's going I used to beatbox all the time and uh, I was well into it and I used to do, um, what was it? I used to go for ages, for like as long as I could. I just used to sit there doing it like for ages. Zip coffee, cross the landscape, I get cross with you trying to be Rick Rossi. See me down over that, yeah me and my guns got loads of raps. I got two ones, short ones, never flow thing cause the flow is fast at our course. I used to love doing like fast like beat patterns and stuff and then when I started rapping I was like I felt like I had quite a good knowledge of where the syllables could fit in and stuff but with, with regards to how the double time happened it was more just like it went from the beatboxing and then I thought I like fast beatboxing so I'm, I, I can apply that same percussion to my raps Came in the game with the old new act in vain. Then the brain with the old new rap late in his day. And the old cruise whack, I had to do that. Had to man up. If you ain't got a boost to copy, then bad luck. If you ain't got a boost to copy, you fat fuck. If you ain't got a boost to copy, I'm that much. I got the squizzit ability, mimicking vivid this image. The victory's stinging the kid to be killing the simidies with the nidity. Wanna be chilling with Fiddy and Diddy and Cootie the kid, they send him to Biggie. Fucking the ciggy with Dizzy and Wizzy. Sucking the chitty like Giggity Giggity. My ability, he can't let me flow. Bugsy Biggity Bobbity, gotta be properly honest. It's Bobbity, copping the hottest of property, not a monopoly. Actual life a lot of Jamaicans, they do that whole fast spitting thing. It's quite cultural, but I did, it's, it's part of my heritage, but I didn't realise at the time. Do you know what I mean? It's only something you realise now, like, people say to me, like, oh, you got ragga styles and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay. Because like, obviously I was, I was growing up listening to that sort of stuff, so I guess it wasn't ever it wasn't ever out of the ordinary to me. So when I obviously want to apply my own thing to it, um, it kind of kind of came out in my music. What's up for the six? Hey, in the grass 
hard, they'll try to catch you. If I press you or get at you, then it's all pussy. Can I get up? How many ways can I say what I wanna say? Say what I wanna say. How many ways can I? You just came in a scum, that's proper gay spray like a copper's AK in the States, I might. A lot of the songs are written when I was like in certain moods and stuff, but I'm a big advocate of give what you receive in the sense of like, you know, if, you, if someone gives you hassle, then, they, then they're getting double the hassle back. But if someone's nice to me, then they're getting double the niceness back. Do you know what I mean? I kind of I like to operate like that. Brothers in that one whip, see them two brothers they don't fuck with. You got one brother with you on stuff, you got one brother who ain't on shit. So you hop out with that on job brother, one pokey pokey, one long stick. But that same brother who don't get involved with that same brother. It's about 11 o'clock, peaks about federal watch. Scoring a jacket and telling a sock. Couple of kiddies are peddling rock. I'm in no position to tell them it's rock. Taught us a young and to never be soft. Little did I know that we was just nothing but cattle. We're fighting a war that could never be won. Fuck all you starters, the end has begun. People like to if they if they if they're into hip hop, they're looking for that hip hop because they're high focus fan or whatever, and then they come across those wisdom and they're like, whoa, that's a bit grimish, isn't it? So to a hip hop fan, it's perceived as, oh, what? So you've come to you, you you're a grime influenced hip hop MC, but that's not the case. He's just an MC. He's a rapper. He's a person speaking this thing from his perspective. We might not be from that. I might not be from that. Hence why I make beats differently when, when I work in the studio with Oceans because he brings, a certain, he brings a uniqueness. You can't pigeonhole it, which is what makes it great. I put it in the same category as a lot of the Dead Player stuff. It's unpigeonholeable. It has an influence from like, multi, like Bashment, Grime, Hip Hop, Drum and Bass. There's, there's a whole, there's a rave, there's a, a reggae, there's a double time, there's a Hip Hop, there's a New York 96, there's a futuristic UK backpacker vibe. It all gets crammed into a thing and it, I think it's your perception which suggests whether or not it comes from grime or it comes from hip hop. What it comes from is everything, all of it. It comes from the majority of, it comes from everything and it doesn't, Black. how you perceive Facts. it is where you pigeonhole it. And if you want to think, oh, that's grime kind of hip hop. I don't know. Grime. What it is, is a person doing something unique and you want to pigeonhole it because it makes it easier for you to digest so that you can tell your friends what you think it means. You. Hashtag you. <laughs> That's a bad boy answer.